Good morning. For me, it's like a um, 24-hour retreat of awakening. Um, feeling so much love and feeling so much clarity about so many things, and especially the holy relationship. There is absolutely nothing more that one can learn from A Course of Miracles when she gets the holy relationship. Because the holy relationship brings her back to her oneness with God, her oneness with the Creator of all. I've lately become really familiar with that connection when I understand that the creator of all is the giver of all. He's the male principle. And the body I wear, whether that body be a female body or a male body matters not, it's the female principle, it's the receptive aspect of, of the one. The father and the son are one. The male and the female are the sacred union that produces the holy relationship. And once that occurs, the receptive female essence becomes childlike. She becomes innocent. She becomes present, knowing that in that time-space, She's connecting and merging with her, her male, the giver of all. There is nothing outside the self but what she as the male, female ego wants there to be. The imbalance really, because there's chaos in the body there's chaos in the male aspect or the ego aspect in the body trying to make something out of nothing. When she, the female, the receptive principle, is present in the moment and she knows that the male is awaiting her acceptance. And in a course it says we need do nothing but be innocent and present. And we will be told what to do, where to go, and what to say. And for me it's become so so profoundly beautiful because I really see the difference. I always say, or often say lately, that I feel like I'm in two worlds, that one one leg is in heaven and one leg is in, in muck. And the reality is, is that once you get that it's not about you, the self, the imbalanced self that's living according to the ego dictates and you realize that the true power resides within the male, the giver of all, the creator of all, and you just allow it, he, to give you, the female, your mission in every moment. And so for years I've been practicing using that aspect of reality, my reality, to sustain me and help me and heal me and provide for me. It's been magical, but not as magical as it is now because now it's totally innocent. I have really no point of reference for where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, even what I'm going to wear, you know. And in my aloneness, I meet 
my creator. And in that moment, it's the holy instant for me because I recognize that I am truly lost without it. I am lost without using the gifts that the creator desires to make known through me. For, for his expression, for his experience. And I say he only because the male principle is the giver. And there can be no giver outside oneself. It's all an inside job. So if we get that the holy relationship is truly being a child to enter the kingdom of heaven which resides within... When we get that, we become the temple for the living God to bestow upon us his grace. And through that experience, we see the miraculous. We see the evolution of time space. We see formation appear. It's like we have a magic wand in that moment and we could truly transform everything and anything by just allowing the Creator to be evident firstly and then to be the giver, to allow the giver of all to bestow upon us his wishes, his desires, to make known in this reality. That is the holy relationship. The, the moment I sit in innocence, in the holy instant, and allow the Creator to bring forth in me, through me, and at me, I'm in total amazement. And that's the holy relationship. It's not about another. There is nothing outside ourselves but what we imagine there to be or what the Creator desires to be made known through us. And that's the vigilance. Be vigilant for God and the kingdom of heaven. So I felt so guided to say this right now because I can't tell you who is just an aspect of the one which is amazing I can't tell you how different it is it's just amazing to know that you listen and you learn I ask and it is given all the time it's up to me whether I become innocent or I become the ego. If I become the child, I'm in heaven. If I go to the ego, I'm in chaos. I'm in conflict, fear, or love. And this is the entire Course in Miracles. Be innocent like a child to enter the kingdom of heaven. Have a beautiful day reuniting with the giver of all. Love you.